Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we have a 2019 Ford F-150 and we're gonna be taking a look at and I'm gonna show you how to install the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit for flat towing your truck. The best way to explain diodes is going to be that they are going to install on the back side of your factory taillight so that you can use them to be able to transfer the lighting signals from the back of your motorhome to the back of your truck. Think of it as a trailer. If you're pulling a trailer with your motorhome or pulling it with your truck, you have to legally have to get those lighting signals from your truck to that trailer. It's the same thing when you're pulling a truck behind your motorhome. You have to be able to tell others what your intentions are when you're going down the road, whether it's changing lanes, coming to a stop, or driving at night. To compare the diode wiring to a couple other options out on the market, um, I really like these the most because it's going to be the cleanest look, it's going to be the most factory, there's nothing to set up. You simply plug in the six pole in the front of your truck and you're ready to go down the road. Some other options are you could use the magnetic lights. Those lights would not work with this truck because it has an aluminum bed, so you would not be able to stick the magnetic lights to there. You'd have to find a way to stick them or clamp them on. And with those, you have to run a four pole from the back of your truck over top every time you want to go to flat tow. Or you have to drive around all weekend with them on the back of your truck. And nobody really wants to do that. Another option that you have is the bulb and socket. Nobody really does those anymore because of the LED lights. Um, you don't want to get water in the back of your taillights. Another option is Roadmaster has the 10 inch LED strips that you can just simply stick with an adhesive right here on the bottom of your taillight. And they're gonna do the same thing that you're seeing right now. It's gonna transfer the uh, stop and turn signals, your brake lights, um, your running lights, all that kind of stuff. Um, the benefit of those is that you're not gonna to have to tap into those factory wires. So if you have a lease vehicle, that would be a good option for those stick on lights. Now when you're picking out your diode kit, you wanna be careful of what the kit will come with um, and uh, what you already have. The owner of our vehicle already had his tow bar. He already had his um, pigtail that goes from his coach to the front of his truck. What he needed was the six pole plug, the four pole wire, and then the four diodes on the back of the truck. If you don't have anything and you're starting from scratch, what I recommend is I would pick up the Roadmaster Nighthawk tow bar because it's gonna come with safety cables. The umbilical cord is run through the tow bar and it's gonna come with a six pole. And then you can pick up the diode wiring kit with just the four pole wire that goes to the back and then you're all set, ready to go. If you already have your own pigtail, you have your tow bar already, just pick up a six pole separately on our website and then pick up the diode wiring kit that comes with just the four pole and the four diodes. Now, as far as the installation goes, uh, you will notice when installing a lot of the flat towing components on the F-150, uh, having the front bumper off will help to get those components installed. When it comes to the base plate, you will have to remove the front bumper. So what I recommend is leaving it off and you can run the four pole wire on the inside of the frame rail all the way back to the back of the truck. That way it's ultimately protected by that steel so that you don't get snagged on anything and that the wire gets damaged. Um, speaking of that, if you do not feel confident after watching this video, doing the install yourself, there's no harm to that. We have a dealer locator on our website that you can find the nearest dealer to you that can do this installation for you. Maybe even be able to do some of the other flat towing components. Get your whole flat tow set up and ready to head down the road. But with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how we did it. To begin your installation, you're gonna to need to run your four pole wire from the front of your truck to the back and eventually pull it up into the taillights. The way that we did it um, is actually pretty easy. If you've got your bumper off for putting your base plate on, you can take your four pole wiring, fish it back through the frame all the way to the back of the vehicle. Now what I'm gonna do now that I've got it fished back there, I can take this, I usually just tie it off here to the base plate so that I don't end up pulling too much of it back. Um, the other thing you want to do is you want to strip back the white wire from the end of the wire all the way back here until there's only about three or so feet left of it. And then I'm going to take it and just pop it out the side of our frame rail so that it's not in our way when we go to put our bumper back on. So we'll pull this through, make sure we get our wire to come out of here, white wire. Um, and then all we're, all we're going to do is just eventually take a self-tapping screw and tap it right into our frame here. Once you get it to the back of the frame rail, uh, you're just going to want to pop out the end of a frame. The best way to route it along the frame rail or inside the frame rail is to just stitch it through the hole. So um, we just use a piece of airline tubing. If you have a fish wire, that works too. Uh, but just fish it down and then kind of feel through the frame rail. There's several holes that you can use to uh, fish this out of and then pull it out, pull the remaining wire out, fish it back through, and just do that all the way to the back of the truck. 
Now we're going to lower our truck down so that we can run this into the back of our taillights. We'll take a eight millimeter socket and remove the two bolts holding our taillights in place. Take our taillight, we'll just pry it out. There we go. So you want to swing it out this way and then pull straight back. We're going to take our plug here, push on the little black tab and pop it out. We tested our wiring functions in uh, the back of our taillights and the blue wire with a gray stripe, which is this one here, is going to be our running light signal. And our gray stripe, our gray wire with a red stripe will be our stop and turn. These are the wires we're gonna need to tap into for our diode kit. Let's take those wires, cut them both in half, and this is how we're gonna splice in our diodes. We'll strip each one of these back you want to twist those ends. Twisting the ends of this stranded wire makes it a little bit more of a firm grip. When you go to put the spade terminals on, we'll take one of our blue spade terminals, slide it over the end there, and crimp it down. Now we're going to repeat that same process for the other two wires that we just cut off. Now we've got our yellow, green, and brown wires run up into the taillight housing. The yellow wire is going to be for our stop and turn on the driver's side. The green is going to be for our stop and turn on the passenger side. And the brown wire needs to be tied into both sides. That is when we're going to use that extra white wire that we stripped off earlier. We're going to twist that, twist this together. Your yellow wire, you will want to throw one of those blue spade terminals on there. And you'll notice in your kit, you'll get one yellow spade terminal. That is to tie these two wires together. This is how you get a jumper wire over to the passenger side and uh, this will help to tie into the uh, running light signal on that side. So we're going to take our white wire, throw it back down. Chances are uh, we'll end up needing to use some of the other white wire uh, to extend our green too. We'll see how far we can get over to the driver's side with it. Um, but now that we've got that done, we can start connecting up our diodes. We'll take our one diode, we'll start with our running light signal, we'll slide that into the out. The out, always you always want that going towards the plug. And if these spade terminals are too loose from the factory because they are pre-installed on these, uh, these little tabs here, just take a pair of pliers like this, your uh, electrical pliers, and just pinch down. You can see I've got one of those a little tighter than the other one. It just helps to bite into those teeth a little bit better. Now we'll take our brown wire and slide that onto the other in for our running light signal. So you can see here our original wire comes in, our new wire comes in, and then you have the out going to the plug. And this, the way that this is explained is it, the the best way to explain it, I guess I should say, is that depending on what you're doing with your truck, if you're driving it like normal, your taillights are gonna get the signal from your original wire. If you're flat towing it, it's gonna get the new signal from our brown wire here. And that's what your diodes are for. So we'll go ahead and get this one hooked up too, and then we'll test out our passenger side and get that hooked up. For rotting our wire underneath our truck, uh, the factory hitch is actually a very, very nice way to run it. It's the hitch tube is hollow all the way through. So uh, we just routed our wire through there. Uh, you can see we've got our brown wire extension here. This is the white wire and then the green wire. Um, it, I think it is going to end up being long enough. So if we can take it. We're just going to reach up here and fish it up through the bottom of our taillight housing. Now the wire orientation on the passenger side is going to be in the same two spots on the plug. So if you found the ones on the driver's side, it'll be the same on the passenger. It's going to be your second and third wire in on the top. Your running light signal wire is going to be the same. It's the blue wire with the gray stripe. Your stop and turn, however, is going to be the green wire with an orange stripe. We just hooked up our diodes the same way that we did on the driver's side. Um, except you're just going to, going to want to use the green wire with your green and orange stripe wire and then use that white jumper wire we ran over from our brown wire for our running light signal in with the blue and gray. I'm just going to temporarily put our taillights back in place. Um, 
We're just doing this so that whenever we go to test our wiring, after we get our six pole hooked up up front, um, so that we can see whether or not the diodes are working properly. We took a ring terminal, attached it to our white wire, and then grounded it to the side of our frame rail. Um, and don't make it harder on yourself. Just because we ran the rest of our four pole out the other side does not mean that we have to mount the, uh, the, uh, this ring terminal at the ground on that side too. Just loop it over top of the frame, run your ring terminal into the frame, and that grounded our whole system. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we'll take each of these wires, we're gonna split them off from our harness. We'll get them stripped back and hooked up to our six pole. To get your six pole wired up, you'll want to start at the top of our plug. So uh, with the lid opening like this, and start here, we're gonna go counterclockwise with the brown wire, the white wire, the yellow wire, and then the green wire. Get all these screws tightened down. Be sure to not over tighten the screws because you can strip out this, uh, the copper in here and it will pinch it off and the wire will fall right out. Um, now we'll get it hooked up to our test box and test out the functions of our lights. We'll start out with our tail lights, our left turn, our brake lights, and our right turn. Now that we know our tail lights are working properly, I'm gonna go pull those tail lights back off tape up the diodes really, really well with some electrical tape and then our, get our taillights reinstalled. Now the last thing that we're gonna have to do in the installation is get our six pole mounted up somewhere permanently on our bumper. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit to do that because we still have our braking system to install and it's a lot easier to run all those wires and stuff without our bumper on it. But we'll get that system installed, come back and show you where we mounted our six pole up. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit is right for you in your 2019 Ford F-150.